Good afternoon, everybody. This is John. Today, I'm going to show you a Cannondale restoration. And you might even ask the question, was it worth it? Well, I don't know. You decide. Uh, what I did is I took a Cannondale uh, first generation frame. You know, I was going to tell you the model number, but it really does not matter. They all used the same frame back then on the first generation. The only thing they did is they varied the fork. And then the first lighter weight forks were recalled and they replaced them all with these TNG steel forks. They're pretty decent, nothing special, but they do the job. Now, this bike is built to mimic a, a bicycle that I had in the 80s. Uh, we dealt with a, a painter at the store I worked at called Action Cyclery in Strumid, Illinois. We dealt with a painter called Weiler Cycle Works and they did a frame for me and it is gorgeous then and it is gorgeous now. I actually had this one powder coated, which was not a thing back then. And I had it equipped the same way uh, then as I do now. That's with a Campagnolo Nova Record Group. Uh, the hubs are a large flange. Nova Record rear derailleur with your no Super Record crank and a Super Record front derailleur. Uh, now the wheels themselves are a little bit different. We kind of went with the Retro Mod, the Victoria Corso tires in the 25C and the Open Pro rims by Mavic, uh, which are modern. Uh, the bike kind of has a theme to it. It has two themes, actually, if you take a look. You could call it the De John Deere theme, the green and yellow, or even the Eddie Bauer edition theme. If you don't know what that is, look at old Ford Expedition catalogs. Uh, great looking bike, and I like to say it's a great riding bike. All I can tell you is it's harsh. It's a pretty hard ride. They were built to be stiff back then. That was an issue. Can we have a stiff road bike that a guy my size, they'd call me a Clydesdale at over 225 pounds to get out of the saddle and hammer on it and not twist that frame around. And true to its word, this baby is stiff. When I get out of the saddle, it rocks and it's a lot of fun. Um, now, you know, I put a lot of money into it, at least now it's probably worth about half what I got into it, but I really think it's a lot of fun and it's worth it. And what is collecting anyways? Collecting to me is buying all those things that nostalgically bring you back to your, a time uh, in your life when you really enjoyed yourself with uh, bicycles or anything else that you collect and you're kind of reliving it. And that's kind of what this collection is all about. And that's why I enjoy it so much. Get all the bikes that you couldn't get when you were younger. Uh, check out my other videos too and you'll see a lot of these bicycles if not almost all of them highlighted and put your comments and uh, questions below on the Cannondale it was a lot of fun to build and I think I have one ride around the block on it and when the rain goes away maybe tomorrow I'll give it another ride another bike we'll be highlighting will be the Colnago super single and soon you'll see the build video on this Bianchi it's awesome well, please like, subscribe, and share. And check out the next video in a link. Uh, and check out the rest of my videos. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll catch you next time.